Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. I just caught an alert on my phone that there was an earthquake hitting, and who would have guessed there's a massive earthquake hitting? It is, here, let me show that around where it's happening, where it happened. Here, give me a second. It happened around Long Beach. They claim, people are saying that it's happening around, like, Long Beach, Los Angeles, Torrance. Compton, Downey, that area. Does that say? Yeah, that says Downey. So yeah, I have yet to see where this quake is. Sorry, where it originated, and what its magnitude is. Let's look on the Raspberry Shake. Holy guacamole! Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna open this. Open that. Open that. And, hmm. uh, sorry, all my alerts are going to come in right now. Holy moly. Yeah, there's a lot. Okay. 5.0. Holy moly. Okay. Um. Ridgecrest? Really? That's not in Ridgecrest, is it? 5.0 Ridgecrest? My phone said that it was coming from, like, oh yeah, it is, 5.0, Searless Valley, California. Holy cow. Alright, here, let's make this a visual video. Let's start over here. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today, we had a 5.1 to strike 17 kilometers south of Searless Valley, California. Three felt reports so far, but it's probably going to go way up. Not too far from Ridgecrest. And we have yet to see how strong the shaking was if you were really close to the epicenter. But for now, let's see how far it was from the 7.1 epicenter and how far it was from our seismometers. Alright. Also, which fault did occurred on? <clears throat> Not sure. Possibly a fault that goes through there, but they just didn't... Yeah, unknown fall of California. So no idea. Probably a little lake fault zone, but at this time, they didn't identify it because this is kind of an old fault map, but not really. It was around 14 to 15 miles away from the 7.1 epicenter. So like, that's not too far. And it was, that's, there we go. 135 miles away from our seismometers, so yeah, that's pretty far. Uh, so yeah, let's close this. Look on our seismometers. Holy cow, these are massive readings, and they're still gonna go on. I'm surprised I didn't feel shaking, to be honest. 5.0, crazy. Look, it's kind of still going like a thousand on the raspberry shake. Holy cow. That's above 80,000. One E5. That's never happened before. I bet you that that appeared on the accelerometers, didn't it? No? Really? Wow. Wow. I really thought that would have appeared there because these are strong motion, sen strong motion sensors. Hmm. Huh. Weird. Okay. So yeah, why did I close that? To make it big. There we go. So yeah, P wave gets up to a forty thousand and below fifty negative fifty thousand. An S wave goes to I have no idea how large that is. Ten a hundred thousand and below negative a hundred thousand, then it fades out. I can't believe what's this gonna look like on a spectrogram? Holy cow. Holy moly. P wave just. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I'm recording. Uh, oh my gosh, that's, that's insane. So yeah, P wave, dark, extremely dark, then S wave becomes like the darkest readings I've seen so far. Then it fades out, and it's still all really strong down here. Oh yeah, also low frequency because, you know, pretty far away. 
And it's still go kind of going on. Look at that. It's still going on. Holy moly. Yeah, you can see it. How does the Infotech look right now? Uh, so yeah, still kind of going on. It's become visible though. Well, kinda. No, it's going up again. Holy moly. Yeah, I guess there's not that much more to show you guys. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Happy, hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. And this goes to show that even after how long... It's almost been a year since the 6.4 and 7.1... June 4th, 2020, the 6. Point, um, what's it called? The 6.4 occurred on July 4th, on the 4th of July in 2019, 7.1, the day after. And that goes to show that even years after that, there can still be large quakes there. Holy moly. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that'll wrap it up for this video. Have, hope you guys have a good day and night, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you again. Oh yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you again in the next video.